I'm Twan Leeners. I'm the president of the Rajatari Peterson Institute of Natural History. The Rajatari Peterson Institute of Natural History is the institutional steward of Rajatari Peterson's legacy. We preserve and carry on Rajatari Peterson's mission. Okay, Bob Long is meeting us at Akeley. Okay, Frank. Rajatari Peterson started in 1934. What he, what he really did was he provided anybody with the tools to understand the world around him. Before he published his very first field guide to the birds, you had to pretty much be a scientist to recognize specific birds. And uh, and in science at that point, and when you look at ornithology, the people would still collect birds. People would shoot birds to look at them up close, take them to a museum, look at them up close, and identify them afterwards. And Roger Torrey Peterson, with his field guide system and his Peterson system, provided people with the tools to recognize birds without having to have them in hand. Well, it was sunny and hot last year. And a lot drier. <laughs> Birdfest, um, it's really an, an, an attempt to get people outside and, and connect people with the world around them. And, we happen to be lucky enough to have some really incredible birders and, and naturalists here. You can probably see us, but we can't see them. Stay noble. We're looking at some kind of very cool leaf-footed bug here. Is that a stink bug? Yeah, it's, it's a stink bug. It is? Oh. Yeah, but they're non-native. We see a lot of birds. We, we see, um, we're walking through a wetland and we'll see lots of incredible birds that are restricted to this particular type of habitat. This morning we had a trip going through a different habitat in the forest and you see more woodland birds and warblers and things like that. Um, a wetland trip, you'll see birds that are more tied to a different vegetation. You might see some waterfowl, but we'll also see birds that often live on the edges of the vegetation. Yellow warblers, like my blackbirds. Is that an Oreo? He's back in the back. Such a gorgeous bird. No kidding. And this subdued light colors yeah. just stand out like crazy. There is an increasing disconnect between what people see and how people perceive the world around them. It seems like almost everything that is perceived is coming through a little square box, either a TV or a cell phone or a computer screen. And a sort of direct interaction with nature is really not happening as much anymore. And because of that, because people are less exposed to the world around, they also are less skilled in recognizing the individual players in the world around them, plants, animals, trees, and you name it. And, and with that, loss you also lose sort of the, the appreciation of the intricacy of all these different moving parts that form the world around you. So I think that the importance really is that, that RTPI, the Registratory Peterson Institute, can still help the ability for people to learn more about their environment so that they more appreciate it, but ideally through direct interaction. It's amazing.